the lack of drift feed that is coming up is also something that quite honestly is kind of worrying me there isn't really a whole lot there in the drift feed there's about six more cars coming uh, two of them being a bike which is are the same ones and yeah though to be fair having done the video on it already i won't spoil it too much for those who don't want to know but there's some cool stuff coming up for sure in terms of the content not really in all the love in terms of content not an awful lot coming sadly it's kind of like even kind of on the same level of the amount of content that we have in this so it's going to be a bunch of cycling around old vehicles that they removed and i guess that's pretty much what a drift feed season is going to look like i don't think we're going to be seeing anything significant until halloween in october in four months so that kind of makes me afraid for the future of the game, if I'm completely honest. We're already gone through a pretty brutal dry period with GTA Online, like we pretty much do every single year at the start of the year. But luckily, the summer DLC kind of like gives that boost of like, oh, hey, there's something interesting going on, some new DLC, and then there's a bunch of drift feed to which we could kind of like hop back in the game every week and then have a look around and see what's up. Especially for myself as a content creator, because I'm going to have to be selfish here. I'm scared. I really am scared because if there's not going to be anything significant happening for the next four months and the next time something interesting happens in the game is all the way in October, I guess it's holding on for dear life. I kind of have been doing that over the past couple of months already anyways because there hasn't been an awful lot of interesting things happening within the game and well... And while on the monetary side of things, I'm still managing to paying off my bills. If there is something that is scary, it's seeing a lack of drift feed. Because obviously for content creators like myself, having something new coming out every week allows you to make a video on. And obviously, you know, the interest in the game kind of stays. But if that's not the thing, and people tend to forget more and more about it, especially with all those great games coming up in the next couple of months... You're kind of like, okay, does this game still very much have a future? Which is obviously something that we've talked about before. But, you know, now more than ever, I'm kind of like, like, ee! you know, I've definitely had a bit of a gut punch when I finally got the conversation with Floorball Nun about how much the theater was still yet to come. And the interesting thing as well is that while on YouTube or just content about GTA Online in general is seemingly in the decline in terms of views and stuff like that for the game, the game itself is still selling millions of copies every three months and is seemingly doing better than ever. So the decisions that they're making from the people like ourselves who are on these YouTube videos, who are making these social media posts, screaming at Rockstar like, what are you doing? Seemingly has no impact on the game as a whole. And it's really only the hardcore base fans that are on social media that are kind of voicing their opinions because the casuals are still just going around and pretending that everything is fine because like, oh, who really gives a shit? And I know some of you are probably gonna go in the comments like, well, why don't you make content on other games? Uh, with all due respect, while I appreciate you trying to give some insight and help out and be like yeah yeah we'll watch you no no you won't don't don't lie to me if i upload the video about spider-man no one is going to watch it <laughs> like i know that for a fact i've done this for long enough to know that it is gta online or we don't care and that's okay i've accepted that to be a thing um but yeah i just want to reassure everyone by the way this is not a message of defeat and me giving up further from the truth i'll still keep making content for as long as i can uh, but uh yeah with uh, with the lack of drift feed and the lack of dlc and the lack of really anything happening in online um i have to admit that i am pretty scared but you know I guess it is my problem, but I just figured I'd say it anyways, because I'm pretty certain there will be more content creators feeling the exact same way, and yeah, I just... And yeah, this was going to be in the original video of the DLC, but I decided to cut it out. There you go, here's your GTA Man Uncut exclusive. Thanks for watching it.